Hey guys, I am Riyad and in this video I will show you how you can convert a Figma design into WordPress. For making this tutorial, I have completed my project using Figma and I will convert this Figma design using Astra and Elementor. So if you are a freelancer or if you want to learn WordPress customization, then this video is only for you. Let's take a look at the design that we are gonna complete in this tutorial. There will be total 5 pages. The number one is home page. Number two, about page. Number three, visited place. Number four, blog archive page. And number five, contact page. Now after completing this tutorial, you'll be able to learn a lot of things. I have listed here a few of them. So let's take a look at here. How to convert a Figma design into a WordPress website. How to create a travel blog website or any kind of blog website using WordPress. How to create a filterable gallery how to create a newsletter sign up form using wp forms and also how to create a contact form using wp forms and many more useful styles and features also i will attach all the resource file and documentation into the descriptions from where you can download the, all the resource file and start making your website step by step following this tutorial so if you have any other questions or any suggestions please feel free to comment below so that I can get back to you as soon as possible. And also if you're stuck anywhere and you are looking someone to help you to just resolve the issue, then you can simply join our Facebook group, which is private Facebook group. And also you can adjust this design into your portfolio so that you can show your clients what you can do for them. So without further any delay, let's jump into my computer. Now I already jumped into my computer here you can see the design right now in Figma. So I have created this design for this video and I have tried to make it simple. However, I'm not a pro UI UX designer, but I have uh, tried and I did some design for my uh, personal client and for some of the freelance tasks. And this design is created for this video well so if you take a look at this design and if you take a look very carefully it's a very easy design now if i zoom out and just roll over the design step by step the first one is home page and uh, we'll be using like uh, i'm not going to use any strata template or any pre-built template on this tutorial so I'll be using this design and convert this Figma design using Astro theme and Elementor. Also, there will be some other third party plugin which will be helpful uh, for this video and also will help you to learn some more interesting things that I think that will also help you to uh, design this website not only this website you can even design your client website based on your client requirements so let's take a look at the design so that we can start right now now the first one which is called home page and the second one is about me third one is visited place fourth one is blog archive and the fifth one is contact me page if i just start from scratch then let's zoom out the home page and this is the home page i'll be start uh, from header and ended up with the footer after completing the home page i'll be moving to the next page and other pages so for this project just uh, one thing that i would like to share with you previously i have built so many websites and created tutorial on live server but for this project i'll be using local server so if you do not have local server then you can simply go to youtube and you can simply search local server flywheel and also i will attach another video 
how to install local server on your computer free so it's a completely free and you don't have to worry about it it will be working almost every single computer so you don't have to a very high configured computer right and you can simply follow the below uh, link i already uh, attached the link for you guys uh, that one is uh, from freddy corp and hopefully that video will be helpful for you completely how to install local server on your computer before creating this video i already install and activate the local server which is called local flywheel so i am going to install another folder which is called travel blog let's open my local flywheel and click on add local site then type your site name so i'm i would like to write here travel blog so you can use uh, any kind of name here and these options will be available after following uh, installing the local flywheel on your computer so if you have another uh, local server you don't have to use this one you can continue womp xamp or any kind of local server even if you have the live server then you can use also live server so it's not required to use local flywheel let's continue and i just uh, want to use the default setting from here so the wordpress username should be admin because it's a local server i don't have to think about uh, this password and username so much but when i will be creating another video for you uh, regarding how to secure your wordpress website then there i will show you how you can make it more complex so that uh, anyone uh, from hacker uh, couldn't hack your website well so let's add a password i'm going to add a simple password here so that i can remember and you can change the email here so let's add contact at the rate riyadmahmood.com and add site so i have uh, another two website which is called astra free and cadence and travel blog now i'm going to i have to add a password here so i currently i'm using mac if you are not using mac then i think you don't have to use password so it's just a security purpose it will be downloading the wordpress on my local machine and configured it for my project so it could take some time you have to be patient well uh, i have successfully installed and activate my local server on my computer now if i click on admin it will take me to the admin page so i have to put admin and password And this is my WordPress dashboard. So currently WordPress is on 5.9.1 version. So it's a very powerful and there is so many things that you should uh, learn and uh, you should use inside WordPress. So I will be creating more video tutorial for you regarding WordPress uh, new version, even uh, what upcoming version could help you to build your client website. Let's focus on this project right now. So for completing this project, first of all, I have to install a required plugin on my server. Now I'm going to install first Astra theme. So if I go to dashboard and hover over appearance, then themes, click on add new. And you can simply type here Astra. But uh, without typing you can also uh, view the astra theme from dashboard here if you click on popular you will be able to see astra also but i already typed here and here you can see the astra theme now i'm going to click on install and click activate now the astra theme is activated so if you do not want to use stata template you can simply close this one but if you want to use Stata template, you can click get started. For this tutorial, I'm not going to use Stata template. In another video, I will be showing you how to use Astra Stata template and how to make website within very short time. And it will save you a lot of time. Let's close this one. 
and go to plugins then click add new I'm going to install Elementor type here Elementor click install now and also I want to use essential add-ons for Elementor which is also free and it will allow us to use some of the add-ons from them and which is very helpful for our design so let's install this one after installing this plugin I will be activate them together from plugins directory the installation is complete now I'm going to click on installed plugins and activate both of them so there are a couple of steps that you can follow or you can escape here so I'm not going to follow them at this moment and I will just you can always come back here later but there are another plugin that I have to install I'm going to click add new here and type here WP forms click install now and click activate now it will take us to the landing page or the land page for WP forms so here you can see the tutorial and other things that they recommend for their product but we'll be taking a look uh, on all of this later uh, not right now so if i click on dashboard and if you want to view our website how it looks now in this part i'll be configuring the typography and color so let's jump into my design and see what kind of color and typography I have used here now if I click on font or any text over here at the right side here you can say I'm using Montserrat which is bold and also not to sense which is regular for the body text now if I click on the menu item here you can see the font family let's click again it also Montserrat and the body text is no to sense so i think that's enough for the moment let's go to the dashboard and hover over appearance click on customize so i'll be using astra free theme and that's why here you can see another options which is more options available in astra pro so if you are not familiar with the astra pro then uh, you can stick with this tutorial and uh, i'll be sharing with you some tips and tricks regarding astro pro and also that will help you to understand whether it's perfect for you or not also i will be showing you some another customizer options from astro pro because uh, i have used astro pro a lot of time and on most of my client projects i used astro pro so let's continue with a free version of this astra theme so i'm going to change the typography here click on global go to typography and change the body font not to sense here you can see the heading font family and for the heading font family you can change Montserrat and there are a couple of variants that I have used which is bold and also semi bold and let's take a look if is there any other version here yes it's a bold and semi bold and the font size h2 should be 42 pixel and h3 should be 36 pixel and h1 65 now let's change the font family from here so the body font is not to sense and size 17 and heading font family I have changed already currently the font weight is bold or we can use normal we can change it from here individually now the heading one inherit that means it will take uh, the global which is the heading font family it will inherit means it will take Montserrat by default which is inherit 
based on the above heading font family here now if i select font weight it should bold and 65 pixel heading one and if i choose heading two it also displays bold and heading to font size let's take a look which is 42 pixel and heading 3 36 pixel now change it 42 and heading 3 36 pixel well so this is how it works and i have changed the heading and underline content test i just I want to remove this one i do not use underline inside the inner content area now for the heading font uh, heading 4 you can change the heading 4 uh, from here or you can keep the same as of now so i have changed the typography and click publish now go to the colors and i'll be changing this color also so let's go back to my design here and let's take a look what kind of color i'm using right now so currently there is only two color uh, probably it's three color black white and yellow let's click on the yellow copy the color from here go to customize and change it to yellow color and the other color looks perfect so i think uh there is no need to change them at this moment so if i take a look at some other color here so the link color and other color should be different well so if i go to customize again and here you can see the link color we can change the link color a little bit darker so that uh, it looks different here so now it looks like this and to complete the header first of all you have to create the necessary page in your dashboard go to pages and click all pages currently there are two page here the first one is privacy policy and the second one is sample page now if i go to our website here you can see there are five pages so let's start from home page now the first one is home about me visited place blog and contact let's create those page here so i'm going to click on add new so i would like to click a new tab uh, open a new tab here because i don't have to come back again and again to add new page so i would like to just press command from my keyboard and press the right key from my mouse now the first page is home click publish and the second page about me click publish and the third page is visited place click publish here and fourth one is blog publish and the fifth one is contact is it contact us or contact me okay it's only contact now i have created all the pages inside my dashboard so if i go to uh, before going to pages i'm going to close all the tab here because that's not necessary at this moment now i'm going to click all pages here you can see all the pages i have created that are visible here now if i go to appearance and menus i have to create a new menu so that i can display this on my header 
now create a menu called primary menu you can add any kind of name here so for uh, basically uh, professionally most of the user used primary menu as the header menu so you should also give a good name so that you can remember later for which places you have placed this menu and the purpose of the menu so that's why it's a best practice to put a, a meaningful name for menu or every single page even uh, i have noticed that most of the people are just use random name inside their elementor template so i also recommend uh, to use a meaningful name when you are going to create a new template in elementor even create a new menu new page for all of them so now i just create a new menu which is called primary menu and click create a menu on the left side here you can see all the page that i have created a few moments ago so here you can see home about block contact and there is another home so let's add them the first one is custom so we do not want to use the custom home which is default and let's reposition all the menu item here so the visited i missed that visited one here and click primary menu so that it will display inside the primary menu save change now if i go to customize and i have to publish this one because i haven't uh, saved the changes previously and reload the customizer setting here here you can see all the menu items are visible now if i click on header builder now i'm going to create the header right now so here you can see let's compare the header there is a logo there is a menu social icon and then there's a button so i have downloaded the logo already in my local server so if i go to finder here you can see the logo that i'll be using on this website now go to customize and click site title and logo here select your logo and you can simply drag and drop your logo here give a better name for alternative text it's the best practice for seo and make sure you have always added a uh, meaningful name here so this is a logo for travel blog so i just use logo or you can use your domain name here select i'm not going to crop this one i would like to use the uh, exact size that i'm using right now so that that's why i'm going to click on skip cropping so as you can see the logo is displaying here perfectly and along with the logo there is another text which is called travel blog now i'm going to disable that travel blog title so you have to simply scroll down and here you can see the other options now click on here to disable the title now it's disabled and the menu looks like this so if i go to my design again here you can see the menu should display at the middle and also the right side the social icon and button go to customize again and drag this menu to the middle and click over here to add a button so here you can see a button called button yes the button called should button and also here you can see the button looks like this it's not similar to the design that i am using right now i'll be changing the design later so click on button and the text is latest update so type here latest update now as you can see the button comes with the text latest update and here you can change the link when someone click on this button where you would like to take them so currently there is a using a wpastra.com default landing page url so i'm going to use hashtag at this moment so later on i can change or you can change uh, this link on your website so if i click on hide control here you can see the header looks like this 
it looks perfect almost now i have to use social icon click on here and click social icon or social now go to travel design and here you can see facebook twitter linkedin and youtube if i go to customize again and click social here you can see facebook twitter instagram and there's another one that i have to use which is called linkedin click add social icon now i have added all of them here you can place it near to this button now if i hide the control it looks perfect but if you take a look at the menu color which is black and there is a small underline so i'm going to use this one right now let's go to the customizer again and click primary menu go to design and simply scroll down so before going to scroll down here you can see menu hover style and you can change the hover style to underline then scroll down a little bit and here you can see the menu text color so i'd like to use the menu text color which is black and the hover color should be if you hover over the box here here you can see the normal color then if i hover over you can see on the tooltip which is called hover color and also here you can see on the tooltip it's called active color so you can also change the background color but we do not have the background color in our design at this moment so that's why i'm going to use hover color only and also i'd like to change the active color the similar color one and the menu font should be Montserrat because currently it's displaying the global font or the body font type that we are using previously and the font size 14 pixel or you could use 15 pixel as well and font weight you can change it to medium let's hide the control and it looks perfect now if I go to the social icon it's just icons there is no background here so if is there any options let's take a look so it's the default one and we can change the color but I think this one is perfect at this moment and if I click publish go to my page and reload the page now as you can see it looks perfect with the hover color even there is a border at the bottom and the button should display a little bit border radius right so let's add some border radius in the button area so go to the customizer setting again and click on global here click on buttons and here you can see the button type if i select here and hide the control the button looks perfect right now if i go to the design options the button text color should display black go to customizer again open the customizer and change the button font or button border and text color you can change everything from here let's change the color here and change the button font so i'd like to use 14 pixel at this moment even you can set the padding as well let's add some padding at the top 13 pixel and at the bottom should 13 pixel now it looks similar and perfect so that's all for the home page uh, not the home page that's all for the header and i hope after watching this uh, video and after following this video exactly you can easily create your header looks like this i'll be creating the footer area so let's take a look at the footer design and convert it step by step so if i go to my figma file and scroll down here you can see the footer which looks like this now if i go to simply customize and go back to the customizer beginning option so here you can see the footer builder so astra has this powerful header and footer builder i really like these features here you can see the footer builder if i click on footer builder it looks like this it's completely blank at this moment now if i go to design again there is a four column 
so i'll be creating this four column here and also i'll be creating the complete footer using the footer builder go to customizer again and make this four column i just cl click on this gear icon and here you can see four column now change it to four so the first one is a little bit bigger than the usual column or other three column so if you take a look at the design here you can see the travel with some lorem ipsum text which is a little bit bigger than other column here now if i go to customize copy the text for, from here first go to customize click over here and select widget one so if i click widget got it here and select image because i would like to display my logo here from media library select image from here after that i would like to add some paragraph click over here again click on paragraph and paste the text here just paste it again i'm not sure if i have copied it okay just copy the text again from here go to customize and paste it here again it's working so it's working right now i would like to reduce some text from here now as you can see there is a if i hide this one here you can see the logo and text here now if i take a look at other options if i click show now and the next column is useful link so i'm not sure if i'm going to copy this one again or not let's copy let's try and select widget 2 and click over the widget type your list or you can type your let's take a look which is the menu item navigation menu so it will not gonna work so i'd like to use list item here or there is another option that you can also use which is extra widget so using extra widget you will be able to easily add text list item with icon features and some other extra features let's first try list item here special offer contact attractions or gallery so the list item looks like this if i select menu or if i select a link here it looks like this so it looks perfect just copy this one hit enter and paste couple of time go to our design and here you can see contact copy change it to contact and also attractions so i have used a short code uh, or keyboard shortcut features just paste here attractions and our gallery so our gallery i have added here so also add a link here our gallery save now as you can see it looks like this if i take a look at the widget it looks perfect now if i take a look at design right now there is another heading which is called useful link go to customize click over here and type heading paste here useful links and take this heading at the top change the heading type to h4 or you can change it to h3 it will be way bigger so h4 should looks perfect now if i hide the control it looks like this so there is a uh, space at the bottom and 
it doesn't look good and we can fix this later and we will uh, learn how to debug the space uh, how to debug uh, such a things and how to uh, fix them in the future let's go to our design again and take a look the default color is black color if i go to customize click on footer widget design so inside the design and inside general there is a couple of options so if we click on this gear icon which is called general it looks like this and if you click on design it looks like this so here you can change the position easily currently they do not have the options in the free version inside the design to change the color in the footer so i will show you how you can change it later when i will be showing you the astro pro in this tu series tutorial so right now first i would like to use astro free later on i will show you how you can change a few things and additional things how you can add more features using astro pro so stick with this video and hopefully you will be able to learn a lot of things regarding astro let's copy this widget so you can simply copy this widget just click on okay so this one is uh, also not available inside the free version you can copy this widget on the paid version which is the astro pro now click on widget 2 here and we add widget 3 so copy all the elements from here click widget 3 and paste it here find events well so at the fourth one which is follow me on social add social link here type heading heading 3 oh, sorry it's heading 4 follow me on social and add some social icon you can add simply here let's add behance you can add linkedin and align left that's how it looks and it's done now if i click publish let's compare to the bottom footer area and go to design it's also white color let's change change the color just click on this gear icon and go to design here and here you can see the background color is gray color i would like to use pure white color and the above footer which is a little bit uh, gray color it looks good i think so you can also change the color by just clicking on this gear icon click on design and here you can see the background color so you can change it also from here but i'm not going to change it right now now click on publish view the page and reload the page here scroll down a little bit further and here you can see the footer area now in the next part i will be showing you how you can add a custom css inside this uh, footer to make it uh, much similar and more similar to the travel blog website figma file so this part will be a very short uh, section here in this part i will be showing you how you can debug and how you can measure the css using a browser console so let's find out so i'm not going to show you a complete debugging process because this is uh, not a development or coding type tutorial but i uh, i think you should know as a wordpress customizer or if you want to create your own website at least you should know wordpress uh, and html and css so the basic css and html is good enough uh, to customize wordpress website now let's click on right click on your browser and click inspect scroll down here and i would like to understand first why there is a space at the top inside the logo area now i am click near the logo area and just break down to navigate the logo when i highlight the logo i will be showing you what's wrong here now as you can see if i just uh, change my cursor position here you can see it's highlighted in a different way so if you take a look at 
the section which is id block 8 here you can see there is a margin at the bottom in our logo area so if i hover over again here you can see there is a margin at the top and bottom inside this image caption area so that's uh, not good and i want to remove those uh, spacing from the image area so what is the best way if i directly change it from here by selecting the class name it will apply inside the whole website that's not a good idea but if i want to apply these features only inside the footer area then i have to use nested css feature so you can choose or you can select the figure so let's just take a look closely here just select the figure and click on plus icon here as you can see some css classes added here right side now if i select over here again and type margin zero here you can see the margin is zero there is no margin at all but the problem is uh, it will apply on a complete website but i would like to apply only inside the footer area so what is the best way now i have to source here called footer something that comes with a class now if you take a look on the abo div here which is called aside here you can see the footer widget area there are a lot of classes are added here but if you take a look closely you can see the footer widget area which is another class now i would like to call the class here by adding a dot which is that refers to class let's change it to footer widget area and wait i just press space here so i have to understand how css works if you want to be a good designer or a good uh, wordpress customizer then you should learn css html and if you want to learn some other language that will be really helpful for you and i highly recommend you if you don't know how html css works and how other uh, framework and language or programming language works then i highly recommend you to learn them at least try to learn them uh, for basic you don't have to be a pro so let's copy the custom code here go to customize and go back to the customizer settings and click additional css paste it here now this footer widget area i have selected this one here because these changes will applicable only inside the footer it doesn't uh, express its features outside the footer it only happening inside the footer area so that's the reason i have selected the footer widget area class here so i hope you understand what i mean here if you do not understand and if you want to know more about html css then please comment below on this video and please ignore the background noise there is a uh, happening i have some background noise in my house right now so it's not a quiet place here well just click on publish and if i go to the website again and reload the page here you can see it looks like perfect right now if i select the text here and if i select a section inside the section you can see there is some another spacing and at the same section i think here you can also see the section spacing right so if you just compare the widget here which is section id block number 16 and if you take a look which is the above one which is section let's close this one from here which is section block six sorry it's a section block eight and this one is section id block 16 so all of them has some margin bottom so if i hover over here you can see the margin bottom it's not good it's not looking good right let's change it and let's 
apply this one only for the footer area so i think you already know how it works i am going to just click here and here you can see the block 8 only block 8 is applicable so i have to choose the block 16 and also have to choose all of them from here so there is another way which is grouping inside into the css we call this grouping now i'm going to group other uh, sections here so i'm going to select section id block 16 and comma again let's take a look here okay uh, before jump into the next one copy this one make sure and this one is called block 18 well so i think uh, hey here you can see it's not uh, visible here right i just copy it here and just click again and paste it here okay so section hash block 18 and now hit enter and change margin bottom 10 pixel now as you can see it's apply all the three other elements here so i hope you understand how it works and as you can see it's uh, looks like similar and they're leveling all together but there is another just a little bit uh, spacing issue at the bottom which is a paragraph area so we can fix this using custom css as well now copy this text from here paste it and this one is only applicable for the footer area it will not apply outside the footer area because i have selected the block click publish and reload the page so there is a little issue inside the logo and the paragraph but i think it's enough for today and you can fix this by adding some margin inside the logo area as well and that's all from mind also just i think i have to add some padding top here to make it little nice 40 pixel or 70 okay the 70 would be perfect i think uh, 80 yes it looks great now and uh, you can change the copyright I, I'm, I'm not going to change the copyright section at this moment i think it's uh, perfect at this moment so that's all from my end and i hope after watching this video you'll be able to understand how custom css works and how we can implement custom code in our previous video we have completed the footer area and header area now it's time to create our home page and complete our home page so let's get started first of all i have to go to settings and go to reading then change the page from static page to home and post page to blog click save change now go to the travel site and the home page looks like this now if i simply go to the home page edit options you can navigate from here or you can navigate from page all pages then home page so if i navigate from here it's completely up to you and click edit i would like to use a new tab so always try to open a new tab it's a best practice and uh, it will save your time now click on astra now i would like to hide these features from here the sidebar so click astra here then here you can see the sidebar no sidebar and also there are other features disable title so you can also disable and the content layout you can choose the content layout uh, from full width stretch layout so we can also change this layout from customizer setting globally 
and if you change it from here it will apply only the home page not globally now if i change here full width content you can change it full width stretch now click on edit with elementor because i'm going to use elementor right now so the page now looks like this it's completely blank and we'll be creating our hero section now here you can see the hero section is some comes with some text 64 pixel bold mount cell art and which is refers to heading one now click on section uh, it's not a column it's a section and i would like to use a height minimum height at least uh, 600 pixel is enough add a background image select here and go to style choose background type classic upload image from here and now i have already export my background image from figma and i will attach all the resource uh, with you uh, guys i will share all the resource with you so that you can download so I make sure you have added a alternative text which is called hero area so it's completely up to you or your client uh, will give you the alternative text it's very important make sure you have added alternative text on your client website click insert media now change the position center repeat no repeat size cover now it looks like this so if i just add some text here let's take a look i would like to duplicate this one because i want to use left side here and select heading paste it here so do not I, I do not want to change the color at this moment just change the heading one and copy the paragraph text from here paste it here change the color to white color well and here you can see the default color looks like this because i have to disable the default elementor color and typography to do so you have to navigate to the dashboard and go to elementor settings and here you can see disable default color and disable default fonts i do not want to use the default color and fonts i would like to use my own selected color and fonts from astra customizer settings now if i go to elementor and reload the page again as you can see there is no default font and default color here now i'm going to change the color to white and change the width here so that it uh, adjusts with my design and the current h1 heading font size is based on this font size i have already uh, selected all of them globally from the customizer settings and that's why i don't have to do it again and again here so let's compare the design it looks perfect right now now add a button here and go to the button border radius is not perfect so i would like to change the border radius from astra customizer settings so the border radius here you can see a little bit wider so i think uh, it's not perfect here so first of all if you want to change the border radius go to customize and go to global and buttons so i am i would like to change it from here because uh, if i change if i want to change it from elementor so i can easily change the border radius from uh, here but uh, if i change it from here it will not affect globally and every single time when i am i'll be using any button on my website i have to do manually every single time so that's not a a good idea and that's not best practice to make this change every single time 
So the best way is to use always global settings and change from one places and it will apply globally on your website. So now I'm going to change it from customizer. And here you can see the border it is 30 pixel. I would like to use 15 and let's take a look how it looks. If I select 15, is it similar to? No, it's not similar here. Uh, I think it's 20 pixel. Well, it's 15 pixel, but I, I, I added five pixel here. So it's 15 pixel. I just click publish here. Now, if I click update and reload the page you will be noticing the border radius changed here well it's look perfect now now if i go to uh, the button here and let's explore the text is called let's explore go to elementor editor and here you can see the text change it to let's explore and you can change uh, the link here you can add the link whatever you want now i'm going to add arrow icon so here i just search arrow now i'd like to use at the right side not before i'd like to use after you can add some spacing uh, between the icon and text here and the button is i think it's uh, a little bit bigger Mm, let's add some margin I'm not satisfied with the button size here at all I'm really not satisfied <laughs> let's change it here again uh, well uh, let's add padding at the top 15 pixel bottom 15 pixel and right 25 left 25 publish hide the control Okay, so let's reload the page now. Now the button looks perfect, I think. And it looks similar to our design now. So successfully we have changed our design. Also there is a little thing I think you might have noticed this one. So if you take a look closely here you can see at the left side just take a look here from uh, the logo if you take it's not aligned perfectly and this text is uh, way inside the inner area not aligned here it should display align perfectly here at the left side if I take a look at my design here you can see it's aligned perfectly just uh, make an arrow here it's aligned perfectly so what I mean here I would like to use this uh, on my website let's undo well so how can we fix this first of all I have to take a look here if I go to Astra global and container currently the Astra container width is 1200 pixel and if I go to Elementor and then go to site settings here you can see the layout and it's displaying 1140 pixel now we could expand to 1200 pixel and when I expand to 1200 pixel as you can see the header logo and the text is aligned perfectly so I hope you understand what I mean here and why I change it here click on update and reload the page so i think you also can see a little bit a difference here as well but i think it looks perfect right now now in the next part i'll be creating the about section here so let's stick with this video now in this part i'll be creating uh, this about section so let's get started first of all navigate to the elementary editor Okay, just reduce the size here to make it smaller and create a new column let's take a look whether it's two column yes it's a two column create two column here add some padding you can measure the padding here um, there is another ruler options you can add inside your Google Chrome add-on let's scroll down I had one mm. Mm. 
format or not this one okay so there is no need i just i can use here i can press alt from my keyboard and here you can see just hover over the above section there is a space between uh, this section and above section which is 163 pixel so based on my experience uh, i could use here padding which is 120 pixel top and at the bottom 120 pixel and use the image tag uh, image widget here choose image let's upload the image that i would like to use about me and take a look here the design again there is an icon here right so you could upload uh, you could add this icon uh, using elementor or you could add these features uh, using elementor pop-up features but uh, if you do not have elementor pro then you cannot add the elementor pop-up here there is some other features and uh, in the future i will show you how you can add pop-up without elementor pro now let's jump into the elementor editor and there is another image that i have to upload this one about left so add alternative text about left insert media here now the image looks like this and you can insert um, the icon over the image which is not standard the best practice is upload this image as a background image and place icon here as an image uh, let me show you uh, what kind of problem you will be facing in the future now let's add another image and the text here the font size is 24 semi bold and it's 16 and 16 here You can add some spacing advanced and you can add some margin right here 30 pixel i'm sorry it should 20 and here you can add margin left 20. now it looks pretty similar and add some heading here okay so heading 4 change the typography you can change it to semi bold which is refers to 500 or 600 is perfect here change paragraph so i'm i'm going to a little bit faster i hope you understand uh, if uh, i just go faster than your thoughts then please let me know in the comments if i should uh, slow the process uh, in my tutorial so margin top i would like to use margin top here well so if i take a look at here the paragraph usually it looks like this And there is a bottom uh, button here now the about me section looks like this so if I just take a look at the image again and here you can see read more which is uh, comes with a icon here let's copy the button here and here you can see the button comes with the default style and we can change the button text to read more we can change the icon here easily arrow but now if you take a look uh, i'd like to save it after and uh, spacing here now uh, it looks perfect right now but if you take a look at the design here you can see there is no 
a background just a border at the bottom you can do the same but if you change it from elementor then you have to do it every single time and uh, it's completely up to you but you have to do it using elementor there is no other way at this moment now border type solid you can only paste border bottom which is 4 pixel and remove the background color from here uh, which is uh, change the background color so background type classic and change the color to transparent and border radius zero pixel now as you can see it looks similar right so if i take a look at the design here you can see at the left side there is no uh, border so i'd like to change the padding also the bottom should be 10 pixel or sorry 10 pixel and also it should 3 pixel now it looks perfect on the hover the text color is black Now I hope you understand many of you asked uh, in my previous video that how we can create a customized button looks like this but I hope after watching this video you will be able to understand how you can add this kind of border in your button area. Well so the problem is here you can see the uh, image is not displaying perfectly right so we would like to use uh, a icon over the image but it doesn't allow us to do so. So what is the best way? The best way is to remove this image from here and select the column area make sure you have selected the column area from here and go to the style select background type classic upload image from here click insert media and now as you can see it looks like this so i'd like to use change the position center center adjustment default repeat no repeat size should cover now if I close this one, it looks like this. So let's add some image here to see whether that it's applying or not. So as you can see, when I apply uh, any image or any widget here, it just changed the border radius and border. So we can change it later. Now let's add this icon here. So this is the play icon and I think uh, already it already available inside the elementor let's delete the image search your icon drag it to here and type here play play it looks like this but not similar exactly but i think it's enough you can change the size here and change the color to theme color and let's take a look whether it, it's vertical align middle it's working right now and if I go to the column area again and go to border change the border width to zero and set none so as you can see the border radius and the icon looks perfect now also there is another thing there is a little black shadow here and if i just scroll up here you can see uh, it takes much space than the right text and the person that i he's uh, walking here now if i just reduce this right area here and increase the left area it looks better now let's reduce more now let's some um, add margin right uh, padding right 30 pixel to see whether it's applying or not it's not applying here because i have added a background image here now as you can see the margin is applying here perfectly so the spacing is good and top should 10 pixel is enough i think so now it looks perfect but again i miss the overlay color select design and go to the background overlay and here you can see the background type 
make sure you have selected the column so when i select a column here you can see edit column and if you do not understand where i am navigating right now or staying right now you can simply always uh, take a look at the top corner or uh, top middle uh, inside the elementor editor then you will be able to understand uh, where i'm editing right now so if i select this image or icon if i click over here at the top middle here you can see edit icon text that means i'm inside the icon area now if i select column here you can see edit column that means i am inside the column area now if i go to background overlay and change the color to black also we have global color options we can change it from here that would be perfect for our future now it looks good it looks uh, perfect right now it i think there is no issue at all and we can change and uh, we can uh, update the responsive features in the future after completing the home page now in the next part i'll be creating this section now in this part i'll be creating this uh, section which is called place where i have visited so let's jump into the elementor editor right now before jumping copy the text from here and see what kind of um, typography is using 24 uh, 42 pixel monster semi bold close this one create another section add heading h2 and it perfect it looks like there is a border bottom which is here so let's add border go to widget area and search here divider or border you can type border or divider now drag the divider change it to okay i'm going to use solid and change it to pixel and use I think 100 pixel or 150 pixel is enough let's use 150 pixel change the border color to, to theme color and the weight should be 5 and reduce the gap here so now it looks perfect if I take a look at the design again and there is three column with title subheading paragraph and some text here let's create this section okay so i would like to use inner section and for this copy the element of widget area and copy or drag the inner section under this border close this one duplicate this one if you take a look at the image so the image is using as a background image we can use this one as background image as well copy the text here and select this column style background type choose image and upload all the images that comes with okay so i have to select all the images from here one two three four five six upload them the first one is Eiffel Tower. So I just uh, type a name and position, change it to center, no repeat, cover. Well, now I have to add title here. So when I add any text here, it will increase in the size. After that, uh, we'll be adding a fixed size here after finalize the title and other text here so paste the text here change the h4 and this one should h3 or change it to h4 to let's have a look how it works okay so i will change it later copy the paragraph text from here go to widget text editor just drag it at the bottom of the secondary title paste the paragraph text here and now the last uh, which is uh, read more now copy the read more button that i have created here it's not globally created 
Now everything looks like this. So that's not good enough, right? Now I have to fix them. I have to configure them to show you exactly and perfectly looks like the one that are using here. So let's take a look what kind of uh, font and other settings I'm using right now here. So here, if I using, if I want to use uh, 36 pixel, let's take a look at the customizer. Go to the typography and scroll down here. You can see H3. So it's 36 pixel and for the font weight should semi bold. I think it's semi bold. Yes. Now the font size is perfect and fonts uh, weight should be semi bold. Click on publish. Now we can use a H3 here. Change it to H3. Click update and reload the page. It will apply the H3 uh, typography automatically because I have selected from it global. Now, as you can see, it's displaying here perfectly. Now let's change the color to white color here. Let's change secondary heading to white. Change the paragraph to white color. Even now change the read more color. It's not a background color. I'm sorry it should change the text color here and make the background color transparent change the text color white now if I click on column here go to style there is no options to make a column fixed height but there is another options that you can use which is spacing so a spacer will allow you to add some blank space at the top and bottom on your website now, as you can see, after adding a spacing, it looks like this. So there are some other things that I have to change it and I have to make it looks good. So let's add some padding here, 20 pixel. I think it's not enough. Uh, I should make 25 or 30 pixel padding and make this text a uh, weight which is 700 pixel and margin top minus something that should looks good here and let's take a look at other text here everything seems to be looks great 220 pixel now it looks perfect uh, it looks way perfect than the uh, normal one so if i add some border radius here from style the 20 percent border radius or 20 pixel border radius looks perfect right now now just copy this same style again and again and delete the previous style from here uh, the previous column basically and click here select this one so add some margin remove this from here and at the right side add some margin 10 pixel again select this one add some margin 10 pixel left and right 10 pixel again select this one add some margin left i'm sorry remove this one left 10 10 pixel right 10 pixel and this one should have left margin also well so as you can see it looks perfect now now i have to change the background image and text from this column area now click on the column style and change the background image let's take a look which is here the second one is this one Colosseum Colosseum well and change it to this one there is a little bit of uh, overlay which is a little bit black or darker shadow we can upload it here as well 
mm, it's I'm not sure which one Sydney okay opera house and should text well so it looks like this and uh, if you take a look closely here you can see um, there is some uh, breakdown here so which not looks good now I think I should change the heading size h3 a little bit lower to make it nicer on my website so I, I'd like to change it from here let's change it to 30 pixel click publish go to Elementor click update and reload the page to see whether it's the 30 pixel is perfect or not uh, the 30 pixel is not perfect it's still break down the line let's inspect here and change the size from here to see whether it's let's change it to 30 pixel uh, font size 30 pixel and reduce well uh, i think 26 pixel looks good so let's change it to 26 pixel from here click publish and reload the page again well uh, 26 pixel uh, is working perfectly here now you can add overlay here i think you already know how to add overlay i'm going to reload this page now simply uh, also uh, the subheading you should change the subheading also it should row and the second one the third one sorry it should sydney and if you want to add overlay color you can simply choose the column click style go to background overlay and choose the color you can add gradient color as well so let's if you want to add gradient color here let's choose the color i would like to use black color here at this moment and the red color should be black now make it a little bit lighter and the bottom should display black so that the text and read more is visible here now you can do the same here you can go to here change it to black change it to black here okay so what kind of mistake i have made here did you notice that i think you some of you have uh, might notice that and and the, some of you have didn't even notice this what kind of issue is happening here well so i should add this background type inside the background overlay i have added this inside the background that's why it looks completely dark so i have to remove this one from here i would like to use classic go to background overlay and change it from here well and change it this color to completely transparent now as you can see it looks way much better than the previous one change it the sec third one here black and simply change it to this one also black remove the color so it looks perfect now click on update close the window it looks better now i'm going to copy and i'm going to just duplicate this one here add some margin top unlink the hair i would like to only add top 20 pixel now as you can see i have completed this section successfully and the rest the rest of the thing is i have to adjust the margin and padding for this section the bottom i should add some padding here and the top spacing is good if i take a look here the top looks good and i have to add a button here after that some spacing at the bottom area now let's add some margin at the bottom i think i would say 60 pixel is enough at this moment 
not end up hitting 120 pixels, it looks perfect. And add a button here. Center, add some margin top, 50. Change the button text to load more. You can make it large button. So it will not going to work because I have added this button uh, settings from Astra customizer settings. So that's why it's not going to reflect the size from here. Now I'm going to change the icon. Let's type loading or round. Well, so I have to find the icon from here. I couldn't remember that the name, uh, what is the name? I would like to search this icon. Do you know the name of this icon? If you know, please uh, comments below and uh, let me find out here whether it's available or not inside the Elementor. Let's take a look. <laughs> something like that this one we could use this one just select this one so that if we, we didn't see that one then i'll be using that selected one let's scroll down no 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 there is another one which is called history but there is a little watch icon inside the history icon my bad i think it's not available here i haven't used that uh, yet uh, i think somewhere it's available yes it's uh, redo okay so that's the button here and it's uh, inside the elementor change it to right uh, after here change it the position well so now the button is available with the uh, desired icon here now let's change bottom little bit slower 90 pixel would be perfect here click on update and reload the page now as you can see everything looks perfect here and the button the hover color we could change the hover color we already know how to change it and simply go to here to change the hover color click on hover change the color to white color or uh, you can change it something else to make a uh, yellow color as well let's change it to yellow yellow looks perfect i think rather than white the yellow looks great so you can change all of them from here one by one so that's the problem when uh, you haven't used the global button uh, inside the global button uh, you cannot make this uh, inside the free astra version so you have to use Elementor at this moment. Hopefully Astra will uh, include this kind of features in the future. And yes, I, I hope uh, they're improving uh, day by day and hopefully there will be a lot more features uh, we'll be receiving from them. So that's all and click on update and I hope this video will be very helpful for you to understand uh, how to design this kind of sections using Elementor. Thanks for watching. In the next part, I'll be showing you how you can create this awesome call to action area on your website. Hey, welcome, welcome. And in this part, I'll be creating this section using Elementor. So I'm not going to waste so many time here. So I'd like to go very fast here. Let's jump into the Elementor, take a section, add a height, minimum height which is uh, 400 pixel is or uh, it's enough 400 or 500 pixel is enough let's add text here i have already copied the text make it center 
and also copy the paragraph text from here copy drop and paste the text here well uh, it should very easy and i hope you can do it easily well there are lots of paragraph text here mm -hmm. let's take a look <laughs> i'm a travel guru <laughs> okay so uh, i love travel but i don't have much time to traveling in the whole world but even i haven't visited so many places in my country but i wish uh, i could have some extra time for traveling due to my full-time work well here is the text which is travel uh, latest travel guide and the paragraph and everything looks perfect right now i'd like to change the background image from here so uh, let's take a look it's a beautiful place here so if you have visited this place please let me know in the comments and also you can share your video here so that we can uh, view your vlog uh, and uh, at least we can uh, see whether uh, it how it looks and how you feel bg image make sure you have changed or you have added the alternative text on your website change it to center no repeat and size should be cover now add background over here i'd like to use completely black or dark color change the color so if you see i have going very fast here please let me know in the comments so i think you already know uh, how to do this kind of stuff uh, using elementor that's why i just completed this section very fast here now you can reduce the uh, size or uh, you can add some margin and padding here so that uh, only margin is enough not to don't have to use padding let's add 50 left 50 to make it three column uh, sorry three uh, row and two row here well it looks good enough I could say I could add I think 70 well it looks perfect now this section is uh, complete if i take a look at the next section which is the latest post and guides i have to post at least three blog posts in my website so let's add some three quick blog posts in my website let's jump into the dashboard right now from here and let's open pixels i used pixels a lot of my projects and in most of the cases i used a few other free resources i'll be creating another separate video that will be healthy for you on how to use pixel how to use other kind of stuff for your making your uh, freelance life more easier go to the posts and here you can see there is a post called hello world i'm going to edit this one i'm not i'm not going to delete this one I want to keep them on my website. Let's change the category name also. This is uncategorized. Change the title first. Make sure you have changed your permalink to hello world to this my own title. I hope you already know what is permalink. Lipsum.com navigate to the Lorem Ipsum. I, I need Lorem Ipsum text, so I, I have to navigate to the lipsum.com. Click on generate. Copy. Paste. Uh, okay. And add featured image here. And you're done. So you can change category, you can change other thing here. So I don't want to change them right now. Travel. Uh, it's working now let's take some image from here I'm not sure why it loads very slow uh, take a look latest post one latest post two is it so small yes the image is so small here so I'm not going to use them it's small here 
change the custom size here to make it looks good change it to okay i'd like to use uh, 1000 pixel at least and 530 is good uh, in height mm, 600 well click on download now i have downloaded this image from pixels close this one i just want three images here i have selected 1000 pixel and 630 here download so i have downloaded this one and now the next one is here let's download this one change it to 1000 and 600 i'm sorry and 630 free download now it's also download it here well so i do not want to use any image as of now go to the post and choose featured image upload three images here well uh, everyone is looks great so let's uh, type here do not make it blank you can select any of them from here update and click add new add new i would like to create two posts here and the second post uh, will be the name which is 10 tips for new travelers copy okay so i'm going very fast here and i don't have to change the uh, permalink because it's not an existing post previously i have used existing post make sure you have added something here at least at least add some text here it's a good practice i personally sometimes uh, forget to add this uh, text here as well okay so i have already opened another one here now copy this one from here paste it copy and paste it's very easy just copy paste right well select this one and image now successfully i have oh uh, there's a huge background noise well um go to all posts and it's uh displaying perfectly all are uncategorized you can ca add them categorized but no worry i'm not doing or going to change it or not going to add category at this moment now i have added them and reload the page now if you take a look at the design it calls latest posts and guides copy here and i have already similar header type here i, I would like to uh, copy uh, i would like to copy this one here mm -hmm. well uh, okay 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 you can stay here i will take you just wait a few minutes now it's time to take you at the bottom of this latest post guides add some padding at the top and bottom um mm, uh, well 120 it's it's way bigger let's make it 90 oh, oh my god 70 it looks good and change a post search search your post so here you can see post great ea which is essential add-on from elementor the copy here it's not copy it's drag and drop it here it looks way beautiful well uh, normally elementor uh, doesn't have the post features and that's why i have installed and activate this add-on which is called essential add-on for elementor now i'm going to customize this one based on my requirements to see how much i can make it similar machinery grid uh, change it uh, show image yes show read more button yes 
okay so image size perfect image height perfect title good h2 and xrp 60 it's too much 20 uh 25 it it looks perfect i think yes well so there is a meta option show meta i'd like to close i don't want to show meta links okay it's not necessary now let's take a look here expansion indicator i, I don't know why there is space at the top here is it a bug from ultimate add-ons uh, not ultimate it is uh, essential add-ons well so i have to debug this one so i'll show you how you can debug this one also on your end and let's take a look here it looks like this we can make it similar no worry read more and the button should read more yes it looks good read query author category and offset so currently there is offset zero here and uh, the layout settings styles so there is styles two style three uh, i would like to use style three border radius 20 pixel and let's have a look uh, 20 pixel looks good here so there is another option which is thumbnail border radius i could add 20 pixel also at the top i should add 20 pixel here it looks good now and i should increase the feature image height so that it looks uh, much better why don't i increase this one because if they have an options here well mm, thumbnail color and typography so i think uh, there is some margin here i'm not sure from where it's coming from title margin change the typography from title here to make it two line is enough i think yes it's enough but uh, I don't know why there is a spacing here. I have to debug this one and I have to see uh, from where it's coming from. Okay, so it looks perfect. Uh, I think much better. I can add a border. This is a read more button. So inside the read more button, I would like to use a border bottom here. I'd like to use four pixel. Mm, uh, four pixel i think three pixel let's change it three pixel here it doesn't look good let's add some margin top 20 pixel and change the color theme color let's have a look whether uh, we have theme color or not we have this color and the text color should black and the border should have its own color this one right and i have to use an image read more button there is no options to add image it's very strange mm. well uh, okay okay there is also no option here to add an image I think there should have uh, but it's not available here now let's click on update and see uh, why there is space at the left side inside the title area if I inspect here and take a look why there is a space okay the space is coming from my post editor options i think let's go to my post editor uh yes here is the space so when i copy and paste this one um, that comes with space here so i think you already understand how quickly i just uh, debug this one and 
find out the issue here. Now if I reload this page, it looks perfect now. So uh, I have to add some spacing at the bottom of this title. Reload the page. And add some space here. So you already know how to use custom code and custom CSS and I hope you already understand uh, I'll be fixing rest of them using custom CSS. So now there is a post uh, title, post color, typography, title, margin. Let's add some margin bottom here. Yes, it looks good now. And make the title little bit bigger 36 pixel is good enough i think it perfects uh, it looks perfect uh, not perfect well um, okay so uh, inside read more button style add some margin bottom which is 20 pixel is good and this should two pixel not so big here and also there is uh, content inside the content area uh, let's take a look if there is any options to add background color or not if i go to color title excerpt and uh, there is no options to add a background color here inside the post post background color there is an option here let's change it and see well there is the option now click on here and change copy the color go to ed editor paste it here now here you can see the color now there is another uh, option which is coming a border but we do not want to use border here so let's take a look um, from where this border is coming from border type i already select none let's yes it's none but it's it doesn't work it's a bug from essential add-on but when i select solid and make it zero the border just disappear and looks perfect right now add some padding i think it will make it more nicer and clean let's add 20 pixel no not this one mm, inside okay between i, I would like to add 10 pixel or 20 15 pixel looks good go to content area layout settings okay there is no options here space between and weed let's okay this one is border so if I want to change spacing margin and padding here card radius card hover so this one is for another options not the border and button <laughs> border should have zero but uh, there is no options here for the card so just click on update and reload the page but we could make it uh, using custom code and using custom code is not a good idea every single time but if there is no options then we have to use custom code let's click over here and see there is options padding 15 pixel we could add 20 pixel here but it doesn't uh, work let's change it and let's take a look if we have missed anything else here no there is no options
it just reduce the spacing uh, between the items not the inside content area so let's make it uh, from here 30 pixel looks great and copy the text from here let's have a look it looks perfect now so go to the typography and paste the additional css here also if i go to the read more and let's have a look if it's possible or not to make the read more display in line block well so we can use display inline block here which will make our read more button uh, looks uh, much cleaner and good here uh, also you can change the read more button um, read more button typography to make it a little bit bigger 16 and font weight we could make it 700 to make it stand out and a little bit nicer now as you can see everything seems looks perfect and looks great here so i hope after watching this video you will be able to follow this uh, page and tutorial then you'll be able to create a nice website looks like this if you have any other questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section thanks for watching now in this section i'll be creating this my upcoming tours and destination part on this tutorial so let's copy the text from here and go to elementary editor so previously we have created in, in my previous video we have completed this section now go to elementor okay so let's take a look uh, there is a little background color here and the text so let's add the heading first make it center we can change the uh, heading size later if if we think uh, it way bigger but currently i'm using without external uh, monitor here that's why it looks a little bigger but it's standard size in 2022 not 2020 i always uh, uh, mixed mix up this one copy the text here Mm, all the text this 42 pixel and this image add another section upload image from here okay so uh, there is upcoming to three images the first one is this one let's add alt text here and click insert add a title copy and paste h3 uh, this looks perfect make it vertical align middle add some paragraph here uh, well there is two double paragraph i personally don't like uh, the click sound from my mouse here i think uh <laughs> let's make it uh we can make it another column here for this so this is just a basic tutorial here i'm creating today to make it nicer and make it more professional you could add so many features here so it looks great so there is a lot of space at the left side let me add some more space here to make it looks good i think it looks perfect now now let's copy uh, the okay so let's copy this one from here and drag the read more button 
so you already know how much important this read more button here let's reduce some text to make it horizontal perfect here well so i have added uh, every single changes here which is necessary let's add some padding 30 pixel duplicate change the position here click on column go to advance make it left 0 and right 60 pixel to make it similar change image and other settings from here uh, it looks much space here i think let's reduce the space margin top add some minus margin 35 is enough let's add also margin minus top minus 35 well it looks good now so we can change the image as well let's change it to this one and make another copy of this one here take this one to the top okay it's not working well so here is another options that you can use which is called navigator and using navigator you can change the section position here let's make it from here now as you can see it's working right now so now it looks like this it looks perfect enough i think and let's go back to our editor and design options copy the background color from here we can save this background color inside elementor as well let me show you how you can also do it go to style background paste the color oh my god add hashtag here and right now as you can see the color looks perfect here and i would like to use this color in my elementor uh, color options so just click on this plus icon you can add light bc here now as you can see there is no space at the top and bottom i would like to add some space here so that's why i would like to go to advance and padding inside the padding at 60 pixel top and 60 pixel bottom let's take a look it looks perfect now so i hope after watching this tutorial well i already said this couple of time i know you can do this uh, okay so let's move into the next part this is a newsletter sign up section so i'll be creating this part in next video thanks for watching let's create this newsletter sign up form here so first of all you have to navigate to the wp forms that we have installed before starting this website creation tutorial and uh, not before at the beginning so create your form here just click over here and let's take a look it just your email address and subscribe well so here you can see newsletter sign up form view demo you can view demo mm, okay so I, I do not like this opt-in form let's uh constant sign up okay let's create a blank form newsletter sign up form and just create a blank form from here now add a uh, email address that's all just email address and copy the text from here enter your email address and subscribe button it's already there and you can hide you can always hide the descriptions and level here 
if I go to advanced hide the level and here you can see the placeholder text and also change submit to subscribe go to the settings and here you can see the button which is submit change it to subscribe and it's subscribe subscribe bing well and everything seems to be looking good here click save and let's make it two column and see how it looks copy and here you can see use short code i'd like to use short code here reload the page let's see whether it's working or not uh, or if they have a new features for elementor then we can use that one also let's add a minimum height 400 pixel is enough change the background image with a very beautiful scenario here i think this one bg image and change the text uh, which is a newsletter sign up so before adding the text i have to paste and see whether it's working or not wp forms is available here let's change it so this form is coming from essential add-on elementor let's uh, make it more nicer let's make it center okay somehow the center alignment is not working it should work but i'm not sure why it's not working here mm. <laughs> input area placeholder it's a bug i think uh, from their end so technically it should work but i'm not sure why it's not working as expected if it's not working no worry we can change the color only at this moment and we can always uh, change using our custom code custom series so newsletter sign up form which is the text here we can make it this text we can hide the head title here hide the title and add a heading here call it something like this make it white to visible and um, make it h4 to see how it looks add another heading newsletter sign up which is h2 make it center and change the background color to white uh not this one i'd like to use this one somehow this is not working um center from here maybe i have used here another setting that's why let's let's remove this one let's remove the class from here click save change i do not want to uh, divide this here and make the email large the field should display large here in general um okay so it looks good now let's save the change here and click update to see how it looks okay it looks like this and make the necessary change very quickly here transparent and border radius okay so i'm going to change it very quickly here label field descriptions um input and text area background color should transparent and okay the border radius should 20 pixel not 20 10 pixel and the type should solid which should one okay the border color yes yes it's working padding 
top 20 bottom 20 left 20 why i didn't use 20 at the before let's use 30 pixel okay it, it's it's way bigger now uh change it change the submit button style from here to make it little nicer background border radius 20 not 20 it should 15 and uh, margin top no need to use margin top i should use padding at least 30 pixel and then right top 25 pixel bottom 25 pixel left 40 and right 40 pixel still looking very big i would like to keep same uh, the button padding and also the top input field padding similar it looks similar and much better so if i go to submit button change the hover color to completely white color let's have a look it looks good now and uh, unfortunately the form doesn't work here okay it's working right now now if i want to change the submit button alignment here it's also working and i could make it full width which looks really great here i personally like this one and uh, make the border radius similar to the above field make it 10 pixel i think it looks similar now it looks similar and click on update and also you could uh, make this little smaller if you add some margin not top if you add some margin uh, left 40 and right 40 you could add more here so this is how it looks and that's all from mine i hope after watching this video you will be able to easily complete this home page on your end thank you so much and i'll be creating the next page on the next video have a good day bye so we have complete our home page successfully and now it's time to make this home page fully mobile friendly and tab so let's get started so as you can see the home page looks like this in desktop version now if i want to make this completely mobile friendly so i should complete the home page first because there are many sections that i will be using on other pages so let's say i would like to use if if you take a look at the design here here you can see this section pretty similar looks like this one and also if you take a look at the gallery which is different but the sign up form is similar to this one from home page now if i complete home page if i make this home page responsive completely then i can reuse those section into other pages so there are lots of sections that are uh, similar to the home page and this is uh, one of them from which is a uh, place where i have visited and this section is already available inside our home page so if i make this section fully mobile device friendly and tab then i can export import and reuse that section anywhere in our website and i don't have to do every single time i don't have to make them responsive for other devices so that's the goal behind this and i hope you understand why i start uh, making this front page responsive so let's get started now i'm into the front page and to make this fully responsive i have to navigate to the edit with elementor so i will always try to uh, open new tab which is best practice now inside the design there is no uh, design for uh, responsive devices but uh, it's completely up to you and uh, normally the four column should display two column in tab and you can also display a three column or you can also display two column for mobile devices you can always display single column it's completely up to you 
and normally it works automatically just uh, we just need a little bit tweaks uh, tweaks inside the uh, typography spacing and if you take a look at this video you'll be able to understand how it works now just click on responsive mode here then click tab and here you can see it's automatically changed the font size inside the tab version so i'm not going to change it at this moment here so first of all i would like to just take a look uh, from where i should change uh, or uh, where i should keep the same uh, format like the hero area that i just want to use this one at this moment i do not want to change the font family typography or font size from here for tab devices also there is some uh, extra text inside the header and we have to navigate into the customizer to fix them i will do it later now if i scroll down here you can see spacing now there is a bigger space at the top and bottom which is not standard at least you should use so here you can see 120 pixel so you should is use 60 which is perfect and let's reduce right and left well uh, it looks like this so you can add at least 20 pixel which is perfect for the left side and if i close this one here you can see at the middle it looks a uh, little bit bigger and i would like to reduce from here so if i click on this column area and go to advance here you can see i have added left is 20 pixel now i'd like to use zero and if i close this one it looks perfect but at the right side there is still a merge a padding or default uh, padding from column area so if i put zero here you can see the default padding is just uh, remove from here now i just want to use 10 pixel right not 10 20 pixel to make it similar to the left column now as you can see it looks perfect now at the left and right spacing looks similar now if i click on this column here again and click on advanced here you can see at the top i added 10 pixel now i'd like to add zero here and to do so i have to unlink from here and at the right side it was 30 and at the top it should zero so this is how it works so you can also place a 20 because uh, we are using left 20 right 20 and between the column we can also use 20 pixel not 30 so I think it looks perfect now and way much better than the previous uh, look and also if i scroll down here you can see by default there is a left 20 and right 20 pixel is uh, available here and everything seems to be looking good here we can uh, reduce the height or a spacing height from here 2000 sorry 220 pixel to uh, 120 pixel and let's take a look how it works well um, it looks good okay so i have to select from here and here one now it looks uh, perfect at this moment so i think uh, i should keep those like this you can also uh, make two column so i will show you how you can make two column now let's move into the next section here and also uh, make sure you have added spacing at the top between the section here you can see there is 60 pixel i have added already at the top section now in this section i should also use 60 pixel to make uh, the section spacing similar for every single section uh, on tab version obviously now if i go to the okay not this one i have to change it from place where i have visited go to advanced and here you can see the bottom is 90 pixel i have to add 60 pixel here if i scroll down the spacing between the load more and this section is similar this section looks perfect i think i 
uh well it's perfect now and this section looks good we can adjust this font size from here it's not similar to the other heading here so we can also reduce this size so let's go to first of all i have to select this one go to style and here you can see color and typography select title style and inside the title style here we can see the typography select here and reduce the typography to 25 pixel i think uh, let's take a look what is the exact size here well uh, it's not working it's a default which is working from customizer i have to take a look from customize to see what size okay go to typography and if i go to h2 the desktop which is 42 pixel and if i select tab it's default so i should mention here 24 or something it looks good if i increase okay this is uh, not the exact tab version there is a difference between astra breakpoint and elementor so i will talk the, talk about this later after completing uh, responsive inside the elementor now as you can see the font size i have added which is h2 25 pixel that means it should display 25 pixel for every single heading 2 which is i'm using right now on this website now i'm going to publish this one previously it was blank that means it was working from astra theme now have place 25 and if i go to elementor click update and reload the page and click responsive view here and take a look which is h2 and it also works similarly now i have to add 25 so i have already added 25 here let's take a look here okay it's 24 so i have added 25 now now it looks perfect and if i go to other sections it also looks great except the newsletter section which is uh, not uh, looking good here i have to change the newsletter section width here i have already added width here uh, margin right and margin left not width and i would like to press zero after that just add 30 pixel and left 30 that's enough for tab version yes so we have completed the tab version now i would like to change uh, the view on mobile devices so if i select mobile devices from here there's a lot of work that i have to do on mobile devices and i have to change so let's start from the hero area now inside the hero area there is another section if you scroll down here you can see this is another section here now if i select the hero area section and go to advance so inside the advance actually there is nothing to do with the advanced settings from here but there is something that you could do from selecting the column area so if i select the column and the width is 100 percent and also if i select the another column which is also 100 percent now i would like to disable this column to make things uh, easier and similar so if i select this column here go to advanced click responsive and hide this on mobile devices now I just hide this column on mobile devices if i close this one here you can see it just reduced the space right and looks perfect now you can also change the height as well uh, if i select the section and here you can see the height you can change the height to 563 pixel and now it looks perfect so if i go to the next section i would like to re reduce the size of this icon so I, first of all click on this icon go to style and reduce the size from here 
and also there needs some spacing because there is no other elements inside the like it's uh, a video area so I think I could add some padding here for mobile devices so let's add some padding top 100 or 200 pixel it's way bigger 120 and at the bottom 120 pixel now it looks perfect well uh, after adding some padding I would like to make a little bit space at the bottom of this video area go to advanced first of all make sure you have selected the column always and go to advanced so here you can see padding and margin now I would like to unlink from here to make margin 0 and uh, at the right side add margin 20 pixel because left and right we are using 20 pixel and at the bottom add 20 pixel you can add more but uh, for making uh, the section similar to the other section and other column I would like to use 20 pixel which looks perfect now if I scroll down here you can see place where I have visited there need margin bottom so let's add margin bottom here go to advance and add some bottom margin so I cannot add bottom only I have to unlink so make sure there is right 10 pixel and, and left and right 10 pixel margin here now if I unlink it will be zero so if I just add all margin all over 10 pixel I think it looks perfect now so top right bottom and left I have added 10 pixel I'm, I'm doing the same thing here because 10 pixel and there is also default margin it makes things 20 pixel now if I go to the next section and this one is different because it's not inside the above section it's another section if I select advance here you can see the spacing is also different here now I have to add some margin which is only margin top 20 then if I close this one here you can see it's similar now and for this section I have to add not this one this one I should add margin 10 pixel and the, at the above for the above one here you can see go to advance and right and left 10 and I would like to add another 10 pixel for the bottom now if I unlink from here and bottom add 10 pixel and right and left 10 pixel now it looks similar so for this column add margin 10 pixel it looks similar so this is how it works and how I have changed all the settings all the spacing from here for mobile devices now if I want to change this one first of all I, I have to check inside the column area why it looks different because there I have added a right and left 70 pixel now I'd like to add 20 pixel so if I add 20 now it looks perfect and you can also add padding at the top and bottom so I think there is also default padding and if I want to add 40 and the bottom 40 pixel it looks perfect now so the post uh, area which is on so looks great I do not have to change anything from here now if I go to upcoming tours and destination section I have to work inside the column area for spacing here so if I click on column go to advance here you can see the left is 60 pixel I would like to put a zero if I add zero let's take a look here it looks perfect now and I'm going to add the same thing here for this column if I select the column go to advance and at the right side which is 60 pixel I would like to put 0 
and one thing that you have to understand here so if you take a look closely here you can see the image is above the title now this is the title uh, which is placed under the image and other content and the read more button so i would like to keep the same format for other sections now if i scroll down here you can see the title text read more button but the image is at the bottom now i'd like to display the image at the top only for mobile devices so i have to click on this inner section area go to advanced and click responsive here you can see reverse column now this is the only way that i could show you how reverse column works in this section now as you can see it just take the image at the top and the content at the bottom like the above one now if i scroll down here you can see another one it looks perfect but i have to adjust the spacing here now everything looking great and i think it looks perfect now so we have completed our home page and with the responsive version but there is a little thing that i have to change for from header and footer let's update this one from here first and for header and footer to change things i have to navigate to the customizer because i have created the header and footer using customizer now i'm going to reload the customizer then select tab version here and if we take a look at the tab version the header comes with the logo and the site tagline or title now if i click over here here you can see the site title and logo and the site title is enabled for the tab version now i'd like to disable this one and if i click menu it looks perfect now and simply scroll down the layout doesn't look good inside the customizer because extra breakpoint is different than elementor we can make it similar uh, in a later or uh, uh, next video not next in the future video in this playlist i will attach another video which will help you to understand how extra breakpoint work with the elementor and how you can make them similar now if you take a look at the bottom area it looks perfect so just need some padding click on footer design and here you can see padding now I'm, i'd like to click unlink the value from here and padding left 20 pixel padding right 20 pixel it looks perfect now now go to that mobile devices or mobile version here you can see the footer looks perfect and if i go to the top still there is another text which is site title i would like to disable this one and click publish hide this one to see how it works so that's great and it it looks perfect now okay and that's all from mind and in the next part i'll be creating other pages thank you so much it's time to start making our about page so let's get started so this is the about me section or about me page and i'll be using this page let's get started first of all you have to navigate to the pages and here you can see about me click on view page okay so i'm going to close other tabs that are not necessary at this moment now the about me page looks like this to get started i'm going to click on edit page and i always open a new tab so i'd like to close other tabs which is not necessary and repositioning the tab for better experience now i have to click on astra and here you can see the layout i would like to use full width stretch layout and click update also i'd like to disable the title and breadcrumbs featured image at this moment so you can also uh, do check out other things from here 
now click on elementor and close this one to see how it looks it looks like this now the first section is if i go to our design about me so let's reposition this one so that i can show you this is the about me and here is the title text click elementor create a new section and add a height here minimum height 400 is way bigger i would like to this one add a title here which is h2 and paste the text make it center and let's take a look if is there any border bottom or not there is no border bottom at this moment i'd like to use this image so let's take a look if we have this image okay so figma file which one i'm not sure i think here is the resource file no it's a figma file okay yes uh, here is the resource file if i go back to the Mm -hmm. newsletter and about me which is not here so if you want to export this image this image is not available here i would like to export this one simply click over here and you can go to the export and here you can see export rectangle view or export image so i'd like to export image so i have to select the image from here which is the best mm, there should be an options to export only image not the rectangular let's repose ignore overlapping layers okay let's try and export see how it looks yes this one is perfect so i'd like to export again and go to elementor click section style background classic select image and upload the image here make sure you have added something here inside the alternative text it's a best practice repeat no repeat and position center center size should cover now change the color about me which is white color go to style text color pure white now next create uh, the second section which is about me samuel's rubber so if i create okay let's take a look at the section closely to see understand well we can simply take double column here directly add some padding 120 pixel top and 120 pixel bottom and make sure you have exported this image from here just double click here go to you can view this image from unsplash uh, maybe it's not available on your end if you haven't uh, download the resource file you can download all of them from there so i'm going to export this one now i have added this image here successfully copy the name well i think i have already copied that one and paste it here so let's copy other text from here paragraph text those are paste it here mm -hmm. close this one to see how it looks it looks like this I think I should reduce some copy from here and also not this one add border so go to the widget area which is elements border and you should select pixel from here 
okay so there is okay this one is perfect change the color to theme color weight should be five and reduce the gap if i close this one it looks like this i think i should reduce some more copy from here and let's take a look if is there any read more button there is no need to add read more button at this moment add margin right 40 pixel and it looks like this so there is a one thing that i should export which is signature double click over here export export from here and go to elementor again open this one take image widget upload the signature test place it go to advance and change margin top minus something so now it looks like this okay so it looks perfect now i can make it center from which is vertical align middle and now it looks perfect so we have completed this section to make this gallery section i have to navigate to elementor again and create a new section which is called gallery and some image text at the bottom of this gallery i have to copy this two element from here paste it here change gallery and add this text at the bottom of this border area and let's take a look if is there any specific background or not there is no background paste the text here to make it center and smaller i have to add some margin here left 80 pixel and right should be 80 pixel now it's two column and it looks like this so if i compare with the design i should add more margin here 180 and 180 pixel okay it's way bigger i think now it looks perfect let's add gallery go to widgets or you can call it elements also search here gallery now here you can see filterable gallery we will be using filterable gallery so just drag and drop it here again try again it's added here successfully we have added the filterable gallery now click on this icon here to edit the gallery and add elements inside the gallery here you can see item to show six now let's take a look there are one two three four column and two row let's create first create four column and image height okay so i should add some more here mm -hmm. aid now it looks perfect so all i have to add image inside the item if i go to gallery item here you can see the gallery name now there is some other options here so first of all if you take a look here you can see the gallery name which is photo gallery video gallery you can add so many features it's a really great uh, widgets that i personally use on many of my client website now if you want to display video you can enable enable the price enable ratings and other options are available here and here is the options where you can simply change image now if i click over here 
let's change image from here let's add all this image okay this one is the first one the second one I'm not sure why sometimes it doesn't load as expected first one added second one and third one fourth one so I think you already know how to create gallery And it's a little bit different I think uh, you should learn about this also now if I I can add another one or I can simply duplicate this one so I would like to duplicate here because it will take more time to create one by one now just duplicate them and the gallery item looks like this so here you can add filter here you can add other filterable gallery and filterable options so if you take a look filterable controls here you can see the items so the first one is gallery item you can add another item let's call okay so let's take a look at our design so the first one is all the second one is okay let's zoom out and zoom in again the first one is all and it's all and the second one is usa and the third one is china the fourth one india So now I have just added few of them you can add more of them from based on your re clients requirements and if I go to settings here you can change the height I would like to use 500 to see how it looks it looks much bigger so 340 okay It looks perfect now there is a, some other settings that I have to change which is border radius and also the filter for gallery when I click on USA it should display based on USA topic so currently I'm not going to display the picture which is taken from uh, different places but I would like to show you how you can use the filterable options here so before going to change filter first of all let's try to make it similar look just go to style and item style here you can see the border radius let's change it to 15 pixel so I've changed it to 15 pixel and it looks similar now now if I want to use the filterable option go to content again and close this setting you can close or just navigate at the bottom and here you can see filterable control again I already uh, show you here go to USA and the item is called USA now go to the gallery item here and the gallery item name click over here and the control name if you click over here here you can see use the gallery control name from controller setting so let's type USA just simply and click USA oh, it's not working let's reload the about me page here click USA and now it's working here but sometimes it doesn't work instantly inside the editor that's why what I did I just go to about me page and reload the page then try to change it from here to see whether it's working or not 
now if i go to another item from here let's random item choose random item choose usa again and i would like to display this photo when someone click on china i just add comma here click another item add china and india so please remember that i do not want to display specific image based on the location here i just want to show you how the filter works click on update and reload the page click usa it looks like this click china it looks like this <laughs> it's not from china well uh, if i click on india it looks like this so i think you understand how the filterable gallery works now if i go to other options from here I, I'm, I'm not going to use all of them from here i just start working on the next section as seen in so this is a pretty straightforward section it's not very simple and not very complex so let's make this section in our next video now in this part i'll be creating a scene in section so let's go to elementor and before creating that section add some spacing at the bottom under the gallery item i would like to add margin not margin i'd like to add padding 80 pixel let's take a look it looks perfect now now click here to create a new section as seen in well so i can create one section inside the section i should take <laughs> well so first take a section here then add inner section well let's take a look how those image added here let's export this one to see well it looks like this so i think uh, we can use simply as image here we can also use it as gallery item here there are many ways that you can uh, use that image but i would like to use Mm -hmm. gallery it's a basic gallery and product gallery so we can use i think the column will be perfect let's inner section change the section with something like this duplicate we can increase the width of the section and add image here click over here upload image taste image insert media close this one it looks great now go to the design again and it should be more bigger let's export those image from here export well I think it's enough and upload all of them I think there is another one logo I think it's well the last one finally I have uploaded all of them now let's make it a little bit bigger and add them here the second one the third one so i have escaped this alternative text at this moment because uh, it takes much longer time so this logo doesn't export perfectly here no because it looks like this i'm not sure why it looks different here inside there is a shadow or something like yes 
Mm -hmm. Now I have to export this one again because I have exported accidentally with shadow. Well, let's upload again. Delete this one. Now it looks perfect and duplicate this one upload the other logos here please uh, feel free to ask me if you have any other questions and also uh, you can join uh, my facebook group and also you can like my page so that whenever i upload any new video or any new announcement you can get them straightforward in your mobile devices not mobile or not only mobile devices you will be receiving on your other devices where you have logged in in your facebook account so i have to add the title here now if i go to the as seen section there is title which is looks like this as seen in and under the title there is border we can simply copy the above idea from here paste it and then copy the divider and paste it here if i click over here there is the background color a little bit different if 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 fa 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 which is uh, like this okay and um, change the color change padding the top 80 pixel the bottom 80 pixel so i just add padding and uh, margin uh, you might be uh, asking that why i didn't measure the padding and margin uh, because i have designed this uh, figma file myself and that's why i already know that uh, how much margin and padding should i add here so if you are working with any client project then make sure you have adjust the margin and padding based on your clients requirements so i should reduce this one a little bit here six to be perfect now it looks like this and it looks perfect so there is another section which is a newsletter sign up section and we have already created this section now i'm going to export and import this section from home page let's go back to our home page and open this page in elementor i'm gonna close this one here scroll down simply click over here you can right click here and save as template and make sure you have added a proper name here click save and now we can use this template anywhere in our website let's uh, take a look uh, if is there any other similar template that i have to use on other pages well there is another template which is from home page which is this one where place where i have visited now save this one as a template and type here place where I have visited section close this one and we are done now go to the about me page and click on this template or the Elementor add template icon go to my templates and here you can see the newsletter sign up form is available now click insert and yes so here you can see we have successfully added the newsletter sign up form inside our about me page it's very simple now click update and from here you can view the page now we have completed our about me page now let's jump into the visited place page well uh, open this in a new tab 
close okay before closing this one i would like to save this section about me section because uh, inside the visited place page there will be a section looks like this that's why i have saved this as template close this one right now and make sure you have disabled the title and featured image you could disable breadcrumbs or not in my about page i disable the breadcrumb accidentally but if you do not then no worry it will not going to display on your page click on update make sure you have changed the layout from here to full width stretch layout click update and now go to the page and okay click edit with elementor there is another section that i think i have missed which is page header which is called page header this one so this section i should export or save as template now i have to go to about me again and i have to save this section because this section is also available inside the visited place section save it here as template call it page header because it's a header not a menu with the menu it's a page header inside the page not inside the menu now go to elementor and click over here template insert page header change the title let's take a look visited place and export image from here double click over here click on export export this one and click on this section icon here style image change it from here just upload this image add the alternative text here text or something else that uh, is uh, refers to this image that describe the image i think you already know it now you do not have to change anything else here because we have already changed them and if i go to another section which looks like this let's import about me section here and reposition the column just drag it to the left side and that's all change I copy the text from here export the image paste the text here so it's very easy now uh, when you complete front page and about page the rest of the page will be easier for you because there is just copy paste and you have to export import page most of the visitor uh, attract with the front page not other pages so that's why it's very important and i'd like to delete this one so i have completed this section i think you have noticed that how quickly i have completed this one and also this one takes less time let's create and place where i have visited insert this section scroll down let's delete this button because we do not want to use this one at this moment and there is a three row and now i just duplicate this and here you can see three rows so you can make it as pop-up or also you can make this when someone click read more they will go to your blog post or single page so you can just create those page and add link here and there will be some other way for creating this kind of sections so which is pretty advanced and in the future i will also show you how to create custom post custom meta box using elementor pro and some other uh, third-party plugins
okay so close and open this one now let's go back to our image there is a newsletter and as seen in section so i think i have missed again the copy as seen in section from about me page let's visit page again about me and save this as seen in section as a template go to edit with elementor scroll down and just save it as template as seen in click save and just paste it here or just export it so now it's complete there's another section which is called newsletter sign up so we have just completed our place where i have visited uh, visited place page very quickly so it just takes uh, less than i think it takes less than 10 minutes i'm not sure i cannot uh, view the duration of this video at this moment here but it takes less than 10 minutes i think so in the next part i'll be creating the blog page thank you so much for watching this so we just completed our visited place let's uh, have a look how it looks go to our view page and the visited place page looks like this now it's time to create a blog page so if i go to blog it's already uh, similar to our design so let's take a look at the design here if you take a look at the design here you can see it looks like this so we can reposition the title image and the excerpt so let's go to our blog page and change the layout here click customize go to blog archive and there are some more features inside the blog page and i will be creating a complete different video where i'll be using astro pro blog features to show you how astro pro blog features works and in this series tutorial i will be showing you uh, only the free features from astro blog pro so if i go to if I take a look at here, here you can see the title. I would like to display the title at the top because if I take a look at our design here, you can see the title which is at the top and the, under the title, there is a featured image and excerpt with the read more button. Now it looks similar. And the, another thing, if I go to, there is a box with the border uh, white color. So if I go to global container, and archive which is archive layout make it full with content and let's take a look it's now similar to our design with border right and at the border bottom here and now everything looks similar now i have to add recent post and categories so if i take a look at here make sure i have just published make sure you have published from here i would like to close the download icon here also so the source icon the recent post and categories recent post and comments archive categories so there are some other features uh, you can keep them or you can remove them also now if i go to from customizer and sidebar here you can see the sidebar you can change the sidebar with here and currently in the free version there is uh, no more options regarding the sidebar to adjust the spacing and something here so you can use custom css for making this sidebar beautiful now if i go to widget main sidebar so here you can see latest post and SARS widget and also recent comments 
so you can keep them or you can remove them from here now just for this tutorial i would like to use some custom css here so that you can also change it from your website now to do so i have to navigate to the page again so you can visit from here always go to blog and let's inspect here to understand from where the spacing are coming from click over here to make it desktop mode and let's understand why there is big space here so as you can see inside the green color there is a padding top 4 em and at the bottom 4 em which is not standard now we can reduce this one so we can select a wp block as a selector which is from class and default editor then we will be select the main sidebar so right now i'd like to keep it sim same here go to main sidebar just understand and take a look what i i'm doing here click on plus icon just added main sidebar and i already copy the wp block group from here and inside the main sidebar paste it the wp block group and add margin zero padding zero now as you can see it just removed the margin and padding only the sidebar so what i did here i just nesting here so if you don't know nesting please you can search on google what is css nesting and we can reduce the font size by adding custom css inside the astra pro pro plugin uh, or the pro features where you can easily change everything without adding single code so i think we are using now the free version that's why i'll be using some code here now uh, if i take a look at customizer before adding the code sidebar there is no options at this moment so if i go to blog archive design archive title font or post title font no it's not reflecting here it's just the post title you can change the post title well now it's time to change the h2 size from here so i'd like to use the same nesting or css class from here paste it here select h2 so under sidebar main dub inside wp block group i would like to select h2 now change the font size 20 pixel it's smaller change it 20 26 pixel which is perfect now and as you can see it looks good enough so we can also add a margin padding everything here margin button 10 pixel so that means i just add some margin at the bottom of this title i'd like to add 15 pixel which looks good and that's all i think it looks perfect now so i would like to copy the text from here just copy copy and paste it here additional css so you can find all the css all the custom code regarding uh based on this tutorial on my website so if you go to riyad mahmud and then uh, go to one of my most recent posts where i have added all the code and uh, information that currently i'm using for this video and from my website you can simply click on blog after that here you can see i have added a new post here which is called how to create a travel blog website using as and elementor so you can simply click over here and you can download all the resource file from here and if you scroll down here you can see the sample and here is the css code that i have used for this project so i'll be adding today's code here also and uh, i'll be adding uh, in the future also if i used any more code on this tutorial on this series tutorial i'll be adding more code and more resource file here
you can also join our on our Facebook group. Now, if I take a look at the blog page to see how it works, uh, I also added this one. Let's reload. Now the blog page looks like this. If I go to single blog, so the single blog post looks like this. It looks perfect. Now you can also reduce the padding here. You can also reduce the spacing as well from customizer. So if I go to customize and open any single blog post here, go to blog, single post, and here you can see some options you can take or you can disable the featured image you can take the title above the featured image you can also disable the author category and other information from here let's disable them to show you how it works this is how it works now if you want you can also change the width of this blog post and if I click design here you can see the font size for the title now i do not want to display the background color white you can also simply go to global container and here you can see blog post layout select here full width content layout to make it similar to the archive page now it looks like this it's completely up to you because uh, if you want to use box mode you can also follow the same here that's all from my end in the next part i'll be creating contact page Thank you so much for watching this video. To make the contact page, I have to navigate to the contact. And here you can see, let's take a look how the contact page looks like. Inside our design, if we, if we take a look at here, you can see the contact page looks like this. Just zoom in. And here we can see the first one is page header we have already page header and as seen in then newsletter sign up so let's create contact page go to edit page and i would like to close the customizer from here contact and change the layout disable title and featured image click update click edit with elementor and inside the contact page i would like to reload this one now it looks like this and it's completely blank now if i go to our elementor editor here you can see it looks like this the first section which is called page header now click insert page header so we have already uh, another section which is called as seen in after that we have already another section which is called newsletter sign up form insert so we have already completed 70 percent in our contact page now let's change the image and text here contact me click over here export the image from here click export and download this one go to elementary editor click style and delete this image click here again upload this image now I'm moving forward a little bit faster because I have already uh, shown you uh, in my previous video how to upload how to do some things here I have already uh, did couple of times so I think you already understand if you haven't uh, or those video then please uh, start watching them uh, serially and and uh, start watching them one by one by one do not escape any of them now it's complete click over here to add another section let's take a look at design so we can use two column here inside the section we can add inner section and inside inner section not inner section in the primary section here you can see i'm editing the section right now click over here to add padding 80 pixel top and 80 pixel bottom now add a contact form and here you can see i have to add contact form and also some other text let's copy the text from here drag it paste 
copy text from here drag and drop paste it here and there is another text which is this one I think we can simply copy this one or we can copy the above one then simply paste it here this is just a dummy text so that's why uh, you don't have to be serious about it, this text you can always change it later now if okay I would like to remove the break so that uh, the spacing should display perfectly now there is a call me and say hi with icon let's create this one go to list item or icon list you can also use icon box the icon box is perfect let's change the phone number here and change the icon phone yes it's similar and add a background stack or frame you can make it stack or frame let's stack and square you can make it a little bit uh, circle and you can also make it nicer now I would like to add this text call me hey call me well so mm -hmm, we can add tell and then our number so when someone click over here they can directly call you and it will open your number directly into the phone let's click on update and take a look how it works if I click over here here you can see uh, it's going to call the user the number right because I have added a text with a link which is called tell and the phone number here make sure there is no space between them well and let's make it nicer go to our style and border radius at 10 pixel or 15 15 looks great and reduce the spacing size you should make it smaller primary color and the secondary color should black not pure black now here you can see the content and inside the content here you can change the spacing and you can always change the typography from here so call me well and descriptions you can make it a little bit bold and increase the font size now it looks perfect right now if I take a look at my design it looks like this so I think it's perfect now and let's add some spacing here inside the content or advanced there is no nothing it looks perfect right now well just copy this one and duplicate and say hi contact so you can contact me directly using this email and mail to this is the email so when someone click over here it will take them directly uh, to mail me uh, or open the email which is connected to your webs uh, your computer so envelope this is the icon that I would like to use here and now it looks like this so it's complete I just completed this section now if you want to create a contact form there is a couple of different ways but if I search here contact here you can see contact from 7 and other forms which is from 
essential add-on elementor now if i drag any form here you cannot create them directly from here so i have to create the form from wp forms if i go to all forms there is a one form which is newsletter sign up now i have to create add new if you take a look at the contact page here you can see name email subject and message now let's create a blank form which is contact form create a blank form and take a look at the design which is the first one is name email subject message well drag it here email single line text that means i would like to use subject and paragraph text which is refers to message now i'd like to change it from here based on my design so this is required if i zoom in this one here you can see the name email subject and message now let's take a look and make sure you have made this section which is large so that it can be display perfectly on any devices let's change it subject and make it required go to advanced change it to large again go to paragraph text and make it uh, change it to message and also i'd like to make it required go to advanced to change the size of the field to make it large okay so somehow the large is not going to be large no worry by default the message field always display large well it's done now if i go to click sub save and if i go to our elementary editor click update here and make sure you have updated this page because if you haven't updated this one you will be not going to use the form it will not going to display here without updating because i have changed it already right now if i click over here type your wp form and here you can see the wp form from essential add-on you can use from essential add-on or you can use wp form directly so the essential add-on will allow you to customize and design your form so i'd like to use essential add-on here and select the form which is called contact form now the contact form is displaying here let's disable the title let's have a look if is there any title or not there is no title just a box shadow well first take a look how it looks it looks perfect similar except the submit button now add some padding here padding 30 pixel and click style to make uh, add some border or uh, box shadow and border radius let's add border radius 20 pixel and click on box shadow here to make a slight a uh, beautiful box shadow well it's so beautiful and now here you can see the blur and spread the box shadow and let's make it blur you can always play around with the box shadow i think it looks perfect now now the another thing that is uh, i have to make this section vertical middle mm -hmm. and inner section should be middle now if i go to the design and here you can see there is a space between the two section right so i'd like to add some margin at the right side here so select this column go to advance uncheck and add some margin at the right side well now it looks perfect so you can also add some margin to the left side of this column but i think it looks perfect now so that's all from mind and i hope you understand how to create a website from figma to elementor or how to make a 
website is using Astra with Elementor. So there are lots of things that I would like to share with you in this series tutorial and more video will be coming soon on this list here. Congratulations, you have completed a full project by yourself and uh, it's really amazing that you have completed this project and if you're stuck anywhere, if you uh, don't know uh, what to do or uh, if you're just stuck, then no worry, you can simply join our Facebook group which is private Facebook group where you can post your problem and hopefully our concern team or expert team will get back to you as soon as possible with a solution. So that's all for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And also if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification so that when I upload any new video, you can get notified. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye.